Hello, everybody. Do you like my scarf? I just wanted to share with you my thoughts. See all of these uh, people here. Oh, there's some girls. Some of them are big, some are small, some are black, some are white. Some are tall, some are short. Some are from this country, some are from that country. Just, I wanted to say that beneath it all, we're all, we're all humans, okay? We're all spirit beings uh, in human form temporarily. But when it comes to people, what determines whether or not they're kind or friendly to you? Isn't dependent on their age or their colour or anything like that. Oh, yeah, it's okay, no problem. Her bag hit my shoe. <laughs> but some people are, are tough on us in our life, and some are kind and friendly, and it all depends on how how happy they are, how conscious they are. It all basically depends on their level of awareness, their conditioning. A huge extent of whether people are able to be kind or nice to us, or else if they're mean to us. It depends on how much of hurt and pain and suffering that they're carrying with them from the past that they have not been able to release so far. So it's how much baggage they have, how much heaviness and hurt is they're carrying within them each single day. So that depend, that'll depend, that'll be the determining factor whether or not they're able to be loving and nurturing and kind to you, or if they're a trouble and a hassle and a stressed person in your life. So understand, if anybody is a stressed person or annoying in your life, don't don't hold it against them or take it personally. That doesn't mean you have to be their friend or be, be spending your time with them. But just to understand that, understand why they're heavy and not nice to you. It's because they're suffering and they, they haven't been able, they haven't been taught or know how to release the suffering from within them. Their hurts and wounds and pains from their past, their upbringing, their childhood, today or last week, yesterday. So they're carrying around an enormous amount of baggage and it's because of that that they're not light. It's because of that that they're not all loving and nurturing and kind and friendly and happy and joyful with you. So no need to be mean to them anymore or be having a fight with them. Understand this and maybe as you grow in awareness and understanding, you can teach them some of your awareness and understanding on how to become free and allow the pain to release to be felt and to surface right now in this moment, in any moment. So then, then you can be happier and freer. So you, your primary responsibility is to look at yourself now in this moment, always, and to see and accept and notice any emotional suffering, discomfort, or pain within you, okay? Any unease or tension, and investigate it and see where it's coming from feel it and allow it to, to surface through acceptance instead of judgment and resistance and and this is your responsibility take primary responsibility for your consciousness your expanded awareness in this moment and your baggage your freedom or lightness or heaviness of emotion so as more you can i can see it you're walking down the street and you see anybody and you know how much undealt with un, pain they have within them how much they have is it a little bit or is it a lot are they rushing and stressed and, and upset and sad and angry or are they happy and light and and, and relaxed and, and enjoying life and slowing down a little bit so I always invite you to look up at the sky it's one of the most beautiful things ever in the world it's so delicious it's gorgeous I love the sky so much it's one of the nicest prettiest things that the creator created for us Oh, I love it so much. So think of anyone who's stressed and rushing around the place. Their awareness is tiny. They don't get to see this beautiful sky. They're thinking and, surf and thinking about what happened to them yesterday and last year and they're worrying about the future. So have compassion for them. They're not enjoying life. They're, they're not happy. They're suffering. So if anything, look to understand them and have a soft heart and help them. Not to be fighting against them or wishing to contribute any more suffering towards them. Think kind, loving thoughts towards them, not anything mean, and, and look to help soothe and nurture them and empower them especially. And don't hang out with people who are bringing you down because that's not a loving act to you and it's not a loving act to them. To continue them in their 
hurtful behaviors, their unconsciousness, that's not loving to them, to keep them in their hole of inflicting suffering on themselves and others. So look after them by not contributing or continuing their harmful behaviors on themselves or other people. Offer a hand and if accepted, so be it. Maybe offer a hand a few times, but if they are hurtful or not listening to you, then you love yourself by hanging around and spending time with loving and nurturing, empowered people. And you can be there for any of the people who, who, who are in the future. If they, if they reject you and your advice or your love, then you can still have an open heart and a kindness of thought and be there for them if they change their mind. So just remember, love the people who are suffering. Don't be against them. Don't take their unconsciousness seriously. It's not even them doing it. Them, the, the joyful, loving, peaceful being, isn't it? Is clouded and covered up by pain and ego. <laughs> so don't take their egoic automatic reflexes and reactions born from pain and suffering and heaviness. Their words coming from pain and heaviness and suffering and unconscious ego, egoicness. Don't take it personally. And you, you respond from your higher self of understanding and love and peace and joy yourself. And all I can say is from my experience, this is a jubilant, joyful time to, 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 to be living this way and do this, to take care of your own responsibility and enjoy Christmas. Thank you very much for uh, joining me all this time and I hope you have a lovely celebrate of Christmas full of laughter and joy and acceptance instead of judgment and resistance. And, uh, Celebrate each day like it's your birthday, like it's everybody's birthday and treat everyone like they're precious, beautiful, divine, gorgeous beings and uh, like it's their birthday too. And live each day like it's your last and like it's everyone else's last day. And there'll be much excitement and enthusiasm and, joy and uh, celebration living this way. And uh, treat people like with enthusiasm, like it's their birthday and like they're precious, okay? So don't take them for granted and treat them like they're beautiful and special. So greet them enthusiastically and say goodbye and have a lovely day and oh, hi, welcome home. <laughs> See you. Bye. Lots of love to you and uh, happy Christmas again. See you. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.